Okay, first I'm going to uncover my patient. I'm doing a male fully plastered, so I would go ahead and I would place a bath blanket over the top of him to keep him warm. I'll spread his legs out like this. I'm going to go ahead and set that bag. I'll put my biohazard bag at the end for my waist. I'm going to open away from me first. Touching the sides, staying one inch away. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get these gloves out. And I'm going to use these. I'm not going to turn my back to my sterile field. Careful not to touch the drape with anything but my sterile gloves. The shiny side goes down. Okay. Now I'm going to place this over the patient. going to go ahead and open everything that I need. to put the end of the catheter in the lubrication. I can go ahead and attach the syringe. I'm going to start cleaning the patient. I'm going to use my non-dominant hand and this becomes non-sterile. I'm going to clean the around the tip of the penis in a circular motion 
one swab um, per circular motion. And go down a little bit lower each time I swab. Then I'm going to take my lubricated catheter and insert it into the tip of the penis, into the urethra. I'm going to insert it seven to nine inches. And when I see urine flow, I know that I am in the bladder. There's so about seven to nine inches. And then I'm going to insert another one to two inches. And then I'm going to pinch the end while I hold it in place. Inflate my balloon using 10 milliliters. Now I can break sterility and uncap the syringe. I'm going to use this tape. I'm going to make sure that there's a little bit of room so that if the patient stretches out his leg, there's no tension or pulling. I want to make sure that this is stuck in there too. Good. Now I can hang the bag on a non-movable part of the bed. Okay, and then whenever I would move all of this stuff out of the way. Um, all of this would go into my biohazard bag here, as well as this, um, and then I'm going to, whenever I'm ready to remove the catheter, I'm going to remove the bag from the non-movable part of the bed. I'm going to empty it and record um, the characteristics of the urine, as well as the amount, uh, like the odor, um, the color, the consistency. I can go ahead and put that into my bag. And then I'm going to assess the skin where I remove the tape. Um, you want to make sure there's no breakdown or irritation. And then I can use the syringe. I'm going to pull out the same amount of liquid that was put in and I will know that from the documentation of when the catheter was put in. I can let it flow out at its own pace and there will be 10 milliliters of fluid. That can go in my biohazard bag. I'm going to ask the patient to take a few deep breaths and remove the catheter as he does that. Whenever I'm done, I will document patient's, patient's comfort um, and the, like I said earlier, the amount of liquid that was, or the amount of urine that was in the bag, um, the color and the consistency, I can replace the gown and cover my patient back up and then return the bed to the low position with the call light in reach.